G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today with another unboxing and features video here at Gravel Cyclist HQ. Before me is a brand you may not recognize, Okoe Bikes. This is arguably the largest box that has ever arrived at Gravel Cyclist HQ. Take a look at this. It's so big it barely fits into uh, the camera frame and I'm shooting in 4K. <laughs> So inside the box is the Okoe Boundary, which is the company's gravel bike. Now you might be wondering who is Okoe Bikes? They happen to be the sister company to a very well known titanium manufacturer out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, Lightspeed Bicycles. Okoe Bikes is a direct to consumer brand, meaning that you order the bike, it ships straight to your house, no middleman. Or as Okoe Bikes themselves say, click it, ship it, rip it. So without further ado, let's unbox the Okoe Boundary and see how it looks. Here we go. There is a reason why this box is so sizable, because the bike is just about fully assembled. Front wheel, seat post and saddle, a box of parts to be determined, and the Okoe boundary itself. All it needs is the fork rotated, wheels installed, seat post whacked in, and it should be ready to go. Well, we might have to adjust the uh, height of the stem just a wee bit. And here we are, the Okoe boundary unwrapped. The frame is of carbon fiber construction. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you the details because I don't know right now of what sort of carbon fiber is in the frame. Some of these standout features of the frame include on the top tube, you've got a mount for a bento box, super handy these days. You've got three bottle cage mounts, down tube, seat tube, and beneath the down tube. And on the fork here, you've also got three mounts. So that's handy for stashing extra water bottles and other accessories. There's also fender mounts on the fork and on the rear of the bike. And the bike utilizes the 12 millimeter by 100 millimeter through axle standard on the front and on the rear 142 by 12 millimeter through axle. Brakes are flat mount front and rear to be expected in this day and age. The bottom bracket standard, I do not know what it is at the time of recording this video, but I'll overlay that so have no fear. This is the top flight model of the Okoe Boundary featuring Shimano's Ultegra DI2 hydraulic drivetrain system. Super awesome stuff, very well proven on gravel. On the rear you've got the Ultegra RX Dorella which has a clutch. It's designed nowadays for road with the release of Shimano GRX, but this group set performs flawlessly on gravel so you've got nothing to worry about there. That sweet rear derailleur is paired to an 11 to 32 11 speed Ultegra cassette. And up front on the crankset, you've got a two by really nice Praxis Zayante 4832 chain rings. And I have reviewed this crankset on the Gravel Cyclist website, so I'll link that in the video description below. And of course, being a double, you've got a Shimano Ultegra DI2 front derailleur. And some other nice touches about this bike are the protective strips they've laid on the chain stays and between the crank set in the frame. Those are areas that always seem damaged and get clunked around. So hats off to you guys at Okoe, very thoughtful. The seat post is of interest. This is the Cane Creek EE Silk model. Suspension seat post and it is 27.2 millimeters in diameter with Shimano's DI2 battery living inside and atop is a WTB Volt saddle and unlike a lot of reviews I've done in the past, I'm going to ride the stock saddle. I've been trying to be more flexible about that sort of uh, thing these days. The rest of the cockpit is by Easton. These are some really nice parts. And the handlebar is Easton's AX model, which is AX for their Adventure Series. This is their aluminium or aluminum bar, if you prefer. I have reviewed the carbon version of this bar on the Gravel Cyclist website. And again, I'll link that in the video description below. The wheel set is a Stan's Grail, a very well-proven wheel set in the world of gravel cycling. It's fitted with Shimano rotors 160 millimeters front and rear. The tires are a classy affair. Okoe has chosen the very well proven Panorama of Gravel King SK with brown sidewalls. Looks lovely. And 700C by 43 millimeter wide casing. Incidentally, this is a size small variant of the Okoe boundary. And you might be wondering what is inside this yellow envelope? Accessories of some kind, obviously. Now, in a nutshell, we've got the Ultegra DI2 charger, 
and some information about the stand's wheels and some end caps in case you decide to run these wheels with a 15 millimeter front through axle, very handy. And some other documentation relating to the bike, seat post, etc. So that's the unboxing and features ceremony covered of the Okoe Boundary. Ultimately, I'll be putting the Okoe Boundary through its paces in a long-term review appearing here on the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. Between the review, I like to post teaser images of the bike as I'm reviewing it. So if you haven't already, please follow the Gravel Cyclist Instagram account and like the Gravel Cyclist Facebook page. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.